So for the mainline design and turbo design frame, we will start by selecting the machine type, which is centrifugal pump in this case. Then the next section is the specs tab, and here we select both the impeller and the volute. Since we are designing a pump, we are interested in designing a pump stage. And then the design point specifications, which is the pump head, rotational speed, and the volume flow rate, which are generally part of the specs. And the fluid, of course, in this case is water. And then we have this specific speed diagram here, which uh, immediately shows that the given specs can lead to a high performance centrifugal pump. The next section is uh, stage composition, where we specify some more details about the different components. So starting with the impeller, we need to specify the inlet of diameter which generally comes from sharp strength specializations. Um, it's also possible to specify leakage at the front or back of the impeller, the outlet velocity calculation method, and some optional parameters to impose various uh, inlet and outlet dimensions and the number of blades. Then for the volute, we can impose an elliptic symmetric section, which is commonly seen in pumps, the fast linear calculation method, and uh, some other dimensions for the discharge tube. Now we don't need to specify uh, change anything in the convergence parameters and then we can make the calculation and in less than a second we have the flow path here along with some basic dimensions and the estimates of efficiency and the RBT star or the work coefficient of the impeller. And then as we scroll down we have some more details on the individual components such as the pressures and the velocity triangles as well. And uh, then finally, with this button over here, we can save all the files which will later be used for the 3D design of the impeller in Turbo Design 1 and for the volume design in Turbo Design Volute. And then we also have these uh, performance curves available, such as the stage head against the flow rate. So this is the design point, and you also get some idea of the off design performance at other flow rates and at other rotational speeds as well. And uh, we also have the efficiency map where we can see that the duty point has been met at a sufficiently high efficiency level. And uh, finally, some power curves as well. And with that information, we can then proceed to the three-dimensional three design of the pump stage.